Yoga Club. Hello, it's time to sparkle in this week's yoga club as we whiz off to fairyland. I love fairies. They're playful, imaginative, a little naughty sometimes, and they're magical, just like you. So let's hear a few of your wonderful thoughts, messages, and great ideas. A big hello to Mommy Christine and Riley, who is five. Riley, you are a superstar, and I loved your video. I love Captain Barnacles of the Octonauts too. He's a polar bear, polar bear, polar bear. Yes, he is. I'd love to do that as a yoga adventure. It would work so well. I loved also hearing how Cosmic Kids Yoga makes you feel calm in your body and wiggly like a blobfish. Wonderful. Thank you so much for writing in and for recording your amazing video. Hello to lovely Dawn Myers who works at the Pine Grove Elementary School there in Pennsylvania. A huge shout out to RS. It sounds like the Zen Dens and the yoga are really fun and helping. You can get the patches over on the Cosmic Kids website in the shop. Have a little look there. It's at cosmickids.com. I loved your suggestions of Paw Patrol as well. I'm hoping I can make that one happen and I am talking to their people to see if I can. Also good ideas to do firefighters and Bob the Builder. What brilliant themes. Minnie, my little dog, says hello too. I'm sure she'd love to meet you one day, as would I, sending lots and lots of love. Lovely to hear from Anjali and Mila who are in the Netherlands. I'm so happy to hear how much you love the yoga quest, Mila, and love the idea of doing one for being a Zen Den Ninja Mindfulness Master. Now that would be awesome. Thank you for suggesting that. If, like Mila, you'd like to do Yoga Quest, you can. You can go grab your maps from cosmickids.com forward slash yoga quest and off you go. It's a real achievement, as Mila has explained. I love your ideas too, Mila, to do a Tinkerbell Yoga Adventure and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I mean, all of the Roald Dahl stories are so, so good and I would do them all if I could. I hope you will enjoy this yoga club if you like fairies. A big happy birthday shout out to Marlo, who had her fifth birthday on April 24th. Happy birthday, Marlo. I hope you had a wonderful day. And Evelyn, who is nine and a half, has also shared a fabulous fairy themed yoga adventure idea about a sad dragonfly who discovers she actually is a fairy. I love it. And all that nature you've suggested for the story, the trees, the woodlands, absolutely wonderful. I'm going to put that in my original stories ideas list. Thank you. A big hello and thank you to Matteo and Leo in Santa Clara, California for sending a video telling me what they love about Cosmic Kids. Telephone pose. Oh, I love that pose too. And some great ideas for New York yoga stories box cars and race cars. Love it. Also, happy birthday to Matteo, who had a race car Zoom party to celebrate. Happy birthday to you, Matteo. Also in California, we, have, we say a big hello to Vishwan, who is also a big fan of cars. And happy fourth birthday for March 20th. Woohoo! I know it's been tough being without our friends for a while, but hopefully we'll be getting back to all the friends, fun and games very soon. Hello to George, who is five and would love to see Scooby-Doo, Paw Patrol and Super Wings as yoga adventures. All wonderful ideas, George. Thank you. A big shout out to the awesome kids in Elizabeth Kendall's preschool program. They are Jack Hudson, Reese, Leah, Jude, Alia and Haley or Hallie, Hallie. <laughs> you keep being amazing too, you lovely bunch. Now, finally, a big happy birthday to Maya, who is turning seven on April 30th. Thank you for all the wonderful ideas, Maya. Willy Wonka, Chocolate Factory, Scooby-Doo. And just lovely to hear that Fairy Floss is your favourite. So perfect, as that is the adventure we're doing today. 
so I hope you feel it's a special treat for you. Keep your messages coming to me at yogaclub@cosmickids.com, and I'll be sure to read all your messages and do my best to get your shout out in one of our yoga club videos. Keep a lookout as it may not be this week but the week after or the week after that. So Let's get ready to twinkle and sparkle. The bells are ringing, the fairy dust is sprinkling, and the magic is beginning. It's time for a fairy-tastic yoga club. Woohoo! Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now, let's have a look through our cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining our thumbs and fingers together, we have a look through. Ooh, look at the colours. Look at the shapes. The patterns all going round and round. Ooh, can you see it? The picture? It's a fairy. Oh, it's fairy floss. Oh, what's Fairy right. Floss doing? Oh, of course, look, she's doing the floss dance. Lowering our hands all the way down. How exciting. We're off to meet Fairy Floss, a real life fairy. Now, Fairy Floss lives in Pixie Patch, which is home to a community of magical folk who love nature and the simple things in life, mostly dancing. Let's come up to stand without touching our hands on the floor. Ready? Oop. Well done, everyone. Now, Fairy Floss, as you've already guessed, loves one dance in particular, the floss. Let's try it. We take our arms down in front of us and make our hands into fists. Now we count one to the side, two to the other side, and through, front and back. Let's do that again. One to the side, two to the other side, and through, front and back. And again, one, two, through. And again, one, two, through. One, two, through. One, two, through. Yay, we've got the arms. Now let's try the hips. Let's bring our hands onto our waist and our hips go side to side. We can add a little bend of the knee as well to help. Yay! Now we're going to try and put the arms and the hips together. We're going to start slowly and build up speed. Taking our arms down, hands into fists. Now our arms go one way as our hips go the other. Here we go. One, two, through. And again, one, two, through. Yay, here we go. One, two, through. One, two, through. Let's try a little bit faster. Here we go. One, two, through. One, two, through. One, two, through. We're getting it. That's it. We're getting it. Keep going. And we are flossing. Fairy floss to do 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 fairy floss to do 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 fairy floss to do 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 fairy floss. Woohoo! Now every week Fairy Floss arranges a big dance meetup at the brilliant Bubble Club. The Bubble Club is a place to dance, to laugh and to drink milkshakes and it's run by none other than Wonky, who is a worm, coming into our worm pose. We lie down on our tummies and we bring our hands under our shoulders and we wiggle, 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 wiggle all the way up like a worm. Now Wonky makes a mean milkshake. He's also got his own special dance move known as Wonky's Wiggle. Let's try. We sit back on our heels, then we slide our body through and we wiggle on up like a worm. And again, sit back on our heels, slide our body through 
and wiggle on up like a worm. Very good, everyone. Now, working alongside Wonky is Des. Des is a carrot, a disco carrot. He's also a keen gardener. Coming up to stand in our carrot pose. We bring our feet together and our arms down by our side. We go all the way around one way. Yeah! And all the way around the other. Yeah! Now, Des has one job at the Bubble Club, and that is to turn on the great big giant glitter ball. That's it! Now, every week, Fairy Floss flies all over the neighbourhood like a bird, inviting everyone to the dance meet. Folding all the way forwards, hands come down, we lift and lower our arms as we fly like a bird. She never misses anyone out, even inviting Nicodemia, the witch, who can't bear dancing. Rolling up to stand, coming into our witch pose. We stand on one leg, using our toe for a bit of balance. We make our fingers all craggy, lift up our elbows, maybe close one eye, and we stick out our tongue. Eeeh! All this dancing, making everyone feel good. If only there were a way I could make it stop. Fungus, where is my spell book? Fungus is a frog. Coming into our frog pose, we crouch all the way down, take our knees wide, and we use our fingers like little froggy finger pads for balance. Now, Fungus the Frog has been servant to Nicodemia since he was a tiny tadpole. He hops all over the cottage looking for the spell book. After three, let's do a hop and a ribbit. Ready? One, two, three. Ribbit. And again. One, two, three. Ribbit. I found it, my lady. Just then, Fairy Floss arrives with their invitations for the dance meet-up. Coming down onto our knees, Nicodemia opens the door. Taking our leg to the side, our arm up to the sky, we open the door going... She stares at Fairy Floss with her grumpy witch face. What do you want, Fairy? Not put off, Fairy Floss stands and smiles. Coming up to stand. Hello! Just popping round to offer you both an invitation to the dance meet at the Bubble Club tomorrow and to suggest some dance moves that could be fun to try. Nicodemia stares, unimpressed. Fairy Floss continues. Right now, I am loving the bunny bounce. Let's give that a try. You come all the way down, put your hands flat, stay high on your tiptoes and lift up your hips. Then you do a little hop. Ready? One, two, three. Hoppity, hoppity, hop. And again. One, two, three. Hoppity, hoppity, hop. No? OK. Well, there's also the uh, washing machine move where you sit on your bottom with your legs crossed. Crisscross your fingers, put them behind your head, and then you twist from side to side, saying, Wisha, washa, wisha, washa, wisha, washa, woo! Wisha, washa, wisha, washa, wisha, washa, woo! No? Okay? Well, there's also my favourite dance move, the floss. Let's give that a go. You come up to stand, legs a little bit wide, now your arms go the opposite way to your hips. Here we go. Fairy floss did do did it did it fairy floss did do did it did it fairy floss did do did it did it fairy floss Nicodemia can't bear any more and she slams the door in fairy floss's face coming down onto our knees leg to the side arm to the sky and slam it's time to put an end to all this dancing once and for all that night, Nicodemia rides on her broomstick, coming into our broomstick pose. We lie on our tummies, our arms down by our sides. We lift up our chest, lift up our feet, and we fly, going whoosh through the night sky, straight for the bubble club. When she arrives, Nicodemia turns herself magically into a cat, coming into our cat pose. Up onto our hands and knees, we tuck our toes and we arch our back, looking into our tummy. 
Then we dip our tummy down and we wiggle waggle our tail saying, meow. Quietly, she slips in through the cat flap, reaching in with one paw, reaching in with two, reaching in with three paws, reaching in with four. Then she rolls herself back up to her normal witchy self, walking your hands all the way back and rolling up to stand, keeping your knees bent, head to come up last. Then she takes out her wand and she points it straight up at the giant glitter ball, stepping one foot forward, one foot back, bending into our front knee, stretching our top arm all the way up, making our finger a point like we're holding a wand. Then she incants her spell. She turns and she does it on the other side, turning to face the other way, bending into our front knee, reaching our arm all the way up. She incants her spell again. Now, when they all start dancing and their precious glitter ball begins to spin, they will all turn to stone. <laughs> and with that, she disappears in a puff of smoke, coming all the way down to crouch. After three, big jump and a puff. One, two, three. Puff. The next day is the dance meet. The music starts and the dancing begins. It's led by Fairy Floss, doing her favourite dance, the floss. Here we go, everyone. Yeah, give it some floss, everyone. She does some bunny bouncing. Ready to hop. Here we go. Hop. And again. Hop. Last time. Hop. Coming all the way up, washing machine. And a knee cross. Wonky is in the fridge getting the milkshakes ready. So Des climbs the ladder, ready to switch on the glitter ball. Here he goes. Yeah, up I go. Yeah, up I go. Yeah, up I go. Yeah, up I go. He turns to the side, folds his little carrot body in half, and he presses go on the big green go button. Rolling up to stand, the glitter ball begins to spin, taking our legs wide, arms wide, and we spin. As soon as it does, Nicodemia's spell is activated! Everyone freezes because everyone has turned to stone! Jump your feet together, hold on to your face. Des the disco carrot is horrified. Oh no! And then he spots someone hopping out of the bubble club. <gasps> it's fungus! The frog coming into our frog pose, crouching all the way down. Knees come wide, balancing with our froggy fingertips. After three, let's do a hop and a ribbit. One, two, three. Ribbit. And again, one, two, three. Ribbit. Wonky the worm comes out of the fridge and he sees him too. <gasps> coming into our wonky the worm pose, lying on our tummies. Hands under our shoulders, wiggle, 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 wiggle all the way up. Now we know who's behind this, Des. It was Nicodemia. We've got to find out how to break the spell. And so Wonky and Des go to Nicodemia's cottage, coming to sit on our heels. When they arrive, Wonky and Des peep in through the window using their cosmonoculars, joining our thumbs and fingers together. How they look through. <gasps> There she is, lying on the couch. Coming to lie down, everyone. Legs wide, arms wide. She's asleep and she's snoring loudly, like a witch. <coughs> it 
In the corner, in his frog basket, is Fungus the frog. He's also lying asleep, but with his legs in the air, lifting our legs up, holding onto the soles of our feet. He's also snoring loudly, but like a frog. <coughs> Ribbit. <coughs> Ribbit. Des keeps a lookout and does a bit of weeding in the garden while Wonky wiggles inside bravely. Coming onto our tummies, everyone. Hands under our shoulders. Let's wiggle in. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. He finds Nicodemia's spell book coming into our book pose, sitting on our bottoms, knees bent, feet flat, hands on our knees. The book is still open, lowering our knees down to the side. The page is titled, How to Stop Dancing. <gasps> Wonky reads down the spell and at the bottom is a note that says how to break this spell. It reads, find as many people not under the spell to dance, dance, dance until they hear a bell. When the spell is broken, a new curse shall begin for the one who cast it to forever dance like a chicken. Chicken, it says chicken. So, so this means when the spell is broken, Nicodemia will forever dance like a chicken. Well, that is something. Wonky quietly, silently wiggles out, trying not to disturb Nicodemia and Fungus. Coming back onto our tummies, hands under our shoulders, Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Back at the bubble club, Wonky and Des start phoning round everyone they know. Sitting on our bottoms, with our legs out long in front of us, they pick up the telephone, lifting up one of our feet and dialing the number. Beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, 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 beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep. Oh, hi, Bob. Yeah, it's Wonky and Des here from the bubble club. How are you? Oh, good. How are all the gnomes? Yeah, they all OK? Excellent. Look, we've got a favour to ask. Would you mind gathering as many gnomes as you can? Yeah, all your gnome friends. Bring them to the bubble club because we need you to dance. Yeah, we've got to break this spell. Nicodemia, she's turned everyone to stone. I know, it's awful. Oh, you'll come? Yeah? And you'll bring them all? Oh, brilliant. You're a star, Bob. We'll see you in a minute. OK, bye. They put the phone down and the next thing we know, Telephone is ringing. Bring, 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 bring. Let's answer it. We pick up the phone. Hello, Cosmic Kids here. How can I help you? Oh, hi, Wonky. Hi, Des. Yeah, we heard all about it. Dreadful business. Nicodemia turning everyone to stone. Awful. Yeah, we can do that. We can come to the Bubble Club. Yeah, we can dance. Yeah, Cosmic Kids are awesome at dancing. Easy. Yeah, OK, we'll be there in a minute. All right, Wonky, bye. Oh, yeah, yeah, love you too, Des. OK, bye. Bye. We put the phone down and we get ourselves down to the Bubble Club. Coming up to stand, everyone. When we get there, the place is packed full of people and thousands of gnomes. It's time to unfreeze our frozen friends and start the dancing. Wonky cues the music and the dancing begins. We dance in slow motion, starting with a slow motion floss dance. Are we ready? Arms down, opposite way with arms and hips. Here we go, ready? washing machine. Slow-mo knee cross. Slow-mo bunny bounce. Stand up, put our hands in the air, and we dance. Here we go. We keep 
dancing, everyone, until we hear the bell. You know what to do. Keep dancing. and she gives us a ginormous hug, reaching our arms wide, wrapping us up. Oh, you've done it, Cosmic Kids. You saved us with a dance. All of a sudden, there is a puff of green smoke coming all the way down to Crouch. After three, let's do a big jump and a puff. One, two, three. <laughs> Appearing before us in the mist is Nicodemia the witch, coming up to stand in our witch pose. Onto one leg, craggy fingers lifting our elbows, closing our eye and sticking out our tongue. Oh. Everyone stops as still as mountains to stare, standing with our feet hip distance apart, arms down by our sides, shocked to see her here for the first time. But as the music starts again, Nicodemia begins to dance unlike anyone could ever have imagined. Just like a chicken. She puts her hands on her hips and she clucks her wings. She jigs her head forward and back. She even makes a comb on her head and a little tail feather with her hand and she kicks her legs up high to the side. Nicodemia is having fun. She is loving the dance. And so is everyone else as we all join in dancing together. As we look around, we take a moment to step back. And we take this moment to lie ourselves all the way down on the ground. We stretch our legs long and our arms long and we let our bodies rest, allowing our breath to come back to normal. Wow. It's amazing just to notice how you feel in your body after you've been dancing. You feel so alive, so strong, so free. Dancing is like a magic power that can transform the way you feel. Whenever you feel sad or worried or cold, if you dance, you transform your body. You make yourself feel good. It's a powerful thing like that. And when we dance together, when we dance with others, something very special happens. We create an amazing bond, a bond of trust, a connection. And when we trust those around us enough to dance freely, when we feel that safe, we are stronger than ever. We are open, we are free. We are able to learn and ready to listen, ready to receive. Dance whenever you can. And when you get a moment to share dance with someone else, do it. You will only grow. Slowly now we begin to wiggle our fingers and wiggle our toes. We hug our knees into our chest, giving them a nice big squeeze. And then we roll onto our side, opening our eyes to press ourselves up to sit. We cross our legs and we bring our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste.
Wow, well done everyone. That was amazing. You were brilliant at dancing. Thank you so, so much. I hope you enjoyed the Fairy Floss adventure and I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. everyone, welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den. This is where we help our minds stay healthy and happy. Let's begin by getting comfy. Sitting on our bottoms, legs crossed, with a long straight back. We rest our hands on our knees and take a big deep breath. In through our nose and out through our mouth. That's better. Now, let's get the Zen Den ready so we can really enjoy it. Let's have some colour in here. Oh, lots of great colours to choose from. Let's pick a couple that help us feel relaxed. This lovely light blue would be nice. Wow, there. Oh, and what about mixing it with something, shall we? Yes, let's go for the violet colour. There we go, that's great. Now, the smell. Ooh, these look interesting. Book smell, mm, that could be quite nice. Feet smell, uh, not sure about that. Ah, yes. Let's smell the freshly baked cakes. Mmm, lovely smell. Fresh from the oven and still warm. Now, in our Zen Den today, we have a special game. It's a really good way to spot how our mind can jump around, even when we are concentrating on something. And the game is called... Super power listening. This is how it works. I'm going to make a few sounds using some of the things I found here in the Cosmic Kids Zen Den. And you are going to use your power listening to work out what the sounds are. Now, a top tip. You can boost your power listening to super power listening by closing your eyes. This makes your listening powers even more amazing. You decide how you want to play. Simple power listening or going up a level to super power listening. Just see if you can focus on the sound. Then have a guess at what you think it is. Ready? Here comes the first sound. So switch on your power listening now. And if you want to take it to the super power level, Close your eyes as well. Here we go. Did you get it? Let's listen one more time to double check. There. Did you get it? And did you notice if your mind started to think of anything else while you were listening? If you do notice this happening, see if you can just come back to the listening again. Let's try a new sound and see how you get on with this one. Oh, let's have it, have it again. There we go. Could you tell what it is? Now, the next sound is ready. Can you guess what this one is? Let's have a quick repeat of it. And what about this one? And again. Now finally this one. And one more time. So, what did you think those sounds were? Could you guess using your power listening or your superpower listening? And did your mind stay on the sounds or did it want to jump to something else? Could you notice that? 
it's great to be able to use superpower listening because it helps you learn how to focus like a superhero. They always use this skill to make their hearing or sight go a lot further. And now you know how to do it too. This means you'll be able to learn stuff really quickly. You'll be able to solve problems and do really clever things like... Remember how to spell long words like supercalifragilisticexpialidocious and do crazy maths problems like 13 times 13. Training your concentration is huge and a brilliant thing to do. But if you are a kid and you're doing this, there's a good chance you'll master it before the grown-ups. So keep up the practice. And soon you will become a true Cosmic Kid Zen Den Master. Bye bye! The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe! Dragonfly pose. Coming down to lie on our tummies, we bring our hands underneath our shoulders and we lift up one of our feet. We point our toe to the sky and we use our other foot to scooch underneath our thigh, just above our knee to lift it even higher. Wow! Look, there's a dragonfly whizzing around. Oh, there she goes. Now, dragonfly pose is very good for stretching our thighs and our hips and strengthening our back. And it's also very good for our tummy ache. Let's see if we can do it on the other side. Lowering our legs all the way down, we lift up our other leg now, stretch it to the sky and using our foot to support it, lifting it up. Oh, here she comes again. Wow. Oh, careful. Dragonfly pose. Peace out. Tickle Pixie. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. It's time to turn the light on in your imagination and enjoy your amazing mind. So, do what you need to do to get lovely and comfy. Find a space and lie down on your back with your arms down by your sides or on your tummy making a pillow with your hands to rest on. You decide which feels most comfortable. Now get settled. Do a wriggle and a fidget to make sure your body feels really happy and comfy. You don't have to be completely still. You can breathe and blink as normal. Just see if you can keep your body nice and still. Your eyes are open. Now that you're still, can you notice your breathing? Maybe you can feel it a little bit. In your chest. Maybe your tummy. At your nose and mouth. Can you hear it too? It might be very, very quiet, like a tiny whisper sound. See if you can hear it. I'll be quiet so you can try. That's it. Gentle breaths coming in through your nose 
and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. This next time as you breathe out, let your eyelids softly close. Well done. Now, you have a big blank screen in your mind. See if you can imagine a little pixie standing right in the middle of it. That's right, a pixie. A small, fairy-like creature. Think about how it looks. Does it have wings? What colour are its eyes? What's it wearing? It may be a girl pixie, or a boy pixie, or an animal pixie. You decide how your pixie looks. One important thing though, is that this is a friendly pixie. It's a good one. This pixie loves using pixie dust for tickling. Not the kind of wriggling, giggling and jiggling tickles. Just a light, fuzzy tickle. That kind of feels nice and relaxing. The tickle pixie sprinkles magic pixie dust on our body. And we feel it because of the slight tickly feeling that happens where it's been sprinkled. Let's see if we can notice the feeling when the tickle pixie sprinkles the magic pixie dust on us. Ready? OK. Let's be as still as we can and see if we can feel the little tickles. Here we go. The tickle pixie starts by sprinkling our feet. There's already a little tingle in our toes. Can you feel it? A slight fizzy feeling. It's moving all the way up through our feet and around our ankles. The pixie moves up, sprinkling the magic dust on our legs. Ah, now the warm tickly tingles are happening in our legs moving up over our knees and into the tops of our legs. They feel all warm and sparkly. We begin to smile as we notice the tickly feelings. Now the pixie sprinkles the magic tickle dust over the middle of our body, our hips, on our tummy and up across our chest. Our body feels the fuzzy tickles like we are full of twinkle lights. The tickle pixie carries on with the sprinkling. Now we feel the tickles travel all the way down our arms, right to the very ends of our fingertips. And now coming back up our arms again and over our shoulders. Now the fizzy feeling tingles through our neck and up into our head. We feel our face tingle with the tickly dust. It may even make our nose wiggle. Wow, what a magic feeling. Our whole body is tingling with sparkling tickle pixie dust. We feel fizzy and sparkly all over. The Tickle Pixie has done its job. You see it in your mind smile at you and blow you a sparkly pixie dust kiss goodbye. It disappears in a puff of magic dust and the screen in your mind is once again blank. 
you smile. Feeling happy that your body has felt the magic of the pixie dust. And without saying the words, you think a big thank you to your little pixie. It's time to return now. We come back slowly. See if you can notice the sounds around you. Feel where your body meets the ground. Have a good stretch. Making your body long like spaghetti. Take a nice big breath in. Let your stretch relax and sigh out of your mouth. Gently open your eyes. And now just sit or lie where you are for a minute. How was that? Having the pixie dust sprinkled all over you. Maybe you can still feel it a little. Well done for giving yourself this time to stop, breathe and feel your body from top to toe tingly with magical sparkling pixie dust. I hope you come back soon. This is Jamie saying peace out.